Hi, Jeff Mond here again. Now we're going to go over what a slab paver is. A slab paver is much larger than an interlocking paver and doesn't fall under the ASTM C936 guidelines. However, it's important that these pavers have some control over the density, water absorption, and strength. That's why Flagstone makes these pavers with the exact same batch design, the same cement content as we do our interlocking concrete pavers. But a paver of this size, which is our 16 by 16, or supreme paver as we need it, has an aspect ratio of 6.74. If you remember, an aspect ratio is the longest length divided by the thickness. In this case, 16 by 2 and 3 eighths is 6.74 aspect ratio. It is not an interlocking paver and would not be a good paver for a roadway. This is our old glory, 12 by 18. Again, 18 divided by the thickness gives you an aspect ratio of 7.58. That is far, far from the 4.0 aspect ratio maximum to be an interlocking paper. The monument paper, uh, often referred to as the Bishop Hat, has a 4.74. This has and is used in driveways. Um, it's close to the 4, but still, I would not put this in the road. In the driveway, it can work, especially if it's strong, which will pay for it. Our Castile has a 4.16. It's right on the cusp, I believe would say, of being a uh, interlocking paper. Our Independence, which is 8 by 12, it has an aspect ratio of 5.05, as does a 12 by 12 or the Liberty paper, uh, being that it has the longest length of 12 as the uh, Independence. These are all slab papers. There is no true specification form, but what Flagstone does to give all of our customers peace of mind is we use the exact same batch formula as we do for our interlocking papers, which do have to meet a specification. Okay, in this segment we're going to go over what a thin paver or sometimes referred to as a tile paver is. These are 30 millimeter thick products, at least ours are. There are some manufacturers making much thinner, down to 20 millimeters. That equates to 1 and 3 sixteenths of an inch. It's exactly half of what we call a thick paver. Uh, we make these various sizes, 4x4 four four or Frontier, 4x8 four or the Freedom, the 8x8 or Commonwealth, 12x12 12 12 or the Liberty, the uh, Monument, our New England, which is made up of three pieces, 3x6, 6x6, 6x9, and what we call our double capital, and it's actually two capital uh, joined together for strength. Uh, these products, again, we make with the same batch design we do our interlocking. We don't make them out of uh, lesser materials or with less cement uh, for a couple reasons. One, we want them to match our thick pavers because often they're put in together, you're going from an existing hard surface to a new installation, and you need to uh, cover both of them. Uh, we don't ever recommend putting a thin paver directly on base material. They are designed for putting over existing hard surfaces such as river rock, pool deck, existing uh, poured concrete, uh, etc. Uh, they can be used on balconies to reduce weight when you want your pavements up there. But these products here, uh, again, we make them with the exact same batch. And I have to stress that because if we we didn't, then if we made them on a machine that wasn't designed pavement, they would be a lot weaker and they would have considerably more uh, have to uh, absorb water which you don't want because that um, causes mold. So that's what a thin paper is. And again, never put these on base material. Use thick paper. Thank you.